agape love. So it is translated love in the New Testament. Much of the time, agape is modified by the phrase to theo. Did I pronounce it right? Of course, it refers to God. And in Christianity, agape is the highest form of love. And it's called, diba, in 1 Corinthians 13, the other version, ang version nila is charity. It was translated and it meant love at its noblest and its very high or excellent qualities. And also this agape also is the love of God for man and man for God. And it embraces a deep, ang sabi dito, and profound sacrificial love that transcends and persists regardless of circumstance. Grabe na pag-ibig ito. Kaya sinasabi ito, the greatest love of all. So agape is almost always used to describe the love that is of and from God whose very nature is love itself. Diba binasa natin kanina, 1 John 4, 8 to, 4, 7 to 8. Okay? He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. And God is not merely love. He is love itself. And everything God does flows from His love. Gugma lang yun, no? Ang atong gino. And also, agape love also speaks to God's love that He has for the world. And that Christians are supposed to emulate. Do we know what emulate is? No, our Christians are supposed to copy. Christians are supposed to imitate. Kaya sabi ni Paul, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Amen ba? Kaya mayroon tayong, di ba, mga preachings natin noon, the year of Christ likeness. Why? Ang, ang gusto natin, no, ang goal natin actually in our Christian life is to be like Him, is to be Christ-like. So we are to love others with agape love. Whether they are fellow, believe, fellow believers, okay, or ang sabi dito, or bitter enemies, we should love them. Sometimes napakahirap, di ba? Ang hirap maglove kaya ng enemies. Kaya merong sinabi, pag binato ka ng bato, ba usually ang nagbabato sa'yo ng bato, ang enemies natin? Di ba? Yung mga nagkikritisay sa atin? Sinabi ko na ito noon, no? matagal na mga preachings, pag binato ka ng bato, gawin mong stepping stone. Diba? Usually, ang enemies natin, ganyan ang gusto nila, saktan tayo, pero gawin mong stepping stone. Pag binato ka ng tinapay, ka ng gahe, na may tinapay po nga bato. Gawin mong daily bread. Amen ba? Palakpakan natin si Lord. So, Jesus gave us the parable of the good Samaritan. Oy, meron daw mga Christians ngayon, no? Magaling sila mag ano, pero ang tawag sa kanila the good Samaritans. Okay. Kasi na, magaling sila mag ano, mag sa word ni Lord. Di ba? 'Yun ang mga hindi lang Marites na walang kwenta. Tingnan mo ang katabi mo. Oh, wag mong sabihan ng Marites lang. Sabihin mo the good Samaritans. Amen? Amen. Okay. So agape love is modeled, modeled by Christ. And it's not based on feelings. Rather, it is determined acts of the will and joyful resolve to put the welfare of others above their own. So others talaga ang concern ng agape love. Kung I-discuss natin yung ibang klase ng love. Yan, opposite yung iba. And then, agape is also used to describe our love for God. Ang sabi ito sa Luke 10.27, the man replied, the scriptures say, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. Yang love na yan does not uh, come to us naturally kasi hindi nga talaga tayo no? natural na nagmamahal because of our fallen nature. So if you are to love as God loves, that love, that agape love can only come from its 
source. The source of love, our God. So there is also a Hebrew word for agape love, and that it was called the chesed. Uh, chesed. Pero sa ibang mga mga version, walang si hesed, hesed lang ay tama ba ito pag pronounce ko. It's also agape love, which are used to express the kind of love God demonstrates to the world and His elect. And this, this just had is often translated as steadfast love or loving kindness. Kaya di ba ang sabi ng Bible, the steadfast love of the Lord, ano? Never ceases. Meaning, steadfast love, it's firm. It's unwavering. Dili siya matarog. Fixed. And then, kindness meaning, favor, affection, and the state of being sympathetic, helpful, forbearing. Kindness also implies deeds you do to someone. Sabi nga ng ano, the only thing that you can give no, na wala talagang uh, hindi siya costly is kindness. Amen ba? So mercy, sabi, also means compassion for forbearance and a blessing is an act of divine favor. So he said, iano natin sa isang meaning is is an unwavering, unchanging, sympathetic, forbearing, devoted affection work out in deeds. And a good example of that verse in sabi ng Numbers 14, 18, the Lord is slow to anger, abounding in love, in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression. You see, God's loving kindness or just said love is why He never gives up. Hindi nagigive up si Lord sa atin. Kaya may tinatawag na na nakantang stubborn love that's a love that will not, never give up. Who always embrace even the worst in you. The worst in us. Yan ang gugma ni Lord. Yan ang loving kindness na tinatawag. Okay, God's people in the Old Testament, pag, uh, di ba, nagbabasa tayo ng Bible in the Old Testament, repeatedly they fall to sin. They fall to idolatry. And yet, He always preserve a remnant. May tinitira talaga si Lord. He never give up, gives up on His people. And the reason of that is His chesed love. That deserves a clap for the Lord. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord niyan. So God loves because that He is His nature. No? It is His nature and the expression of His being. Pag nagsabi tayo ng love, si Lord, si God yun, siya yun. That's the expression of His being. He loves the unlovable, the unlovely. Lahat tayo once before, we are all unlovable. And not because we deserve to be loved, but because of our excellence we possess, but because it is His nature to love and He must be true to His nature. Ang sabi nga noon, nung may nagdibati na, may balik ko ito na, Pastor, bakit may, 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 ano ba? Naabay ka ng dili, kaya himoon sa ginoo? Ang sama, naabay si Lord, naabay siya kaya, dili, dili niya kaya himoon di ay? So, ang dili niya kaya himoon, di ba? Ang mamakak, or dili maglab. Why? Because that's His nature. Hindi niya, hindi guys, hindi niya kaya. Walang hindi kaya si Lord. Nothing is impossible with Him. Diba? So ang pag-ibig. No? That's His nature to love. And now, how is agape love different from all other types of love? Because the essence of agape love is goodwill. Okay? Benevolence. And willful delight in the object of love. We are God's object of love. Lahat tayo. We are the object of God's agape love. It involves faithfulness, commitment, and an act of will. Walay, wala siya gipugos 
nga higugma unta niya siya gani ang nauna nang higugma sa atua niya ikaw padili-dili pa ka char di ba hard to get pa tayo kuminsan hindi tala kuminsan di ba karamihan di ba so agape love is distinguished from other types of love by its lofty its superiority its lofty moral nature and strong character and you know what agape love is described is described in 1 Corinthians 13 at tingnan mo talagang dumating tayo sa 1 Corinthians 13 sinong naka very familiar sa verse sa uh, chapter na ito okay so you know what this chapter uh, begins no ang sabi that without love you are nothing I am nothing so it's gonna be love or nothing you know what this chapter speaks to people who are sick people who are not living people who can properly say I am nothing kasi makasulti hantod ka ron na you are, we are, your I am nothing. Diba? So what is a nothing person? Diba? We very star, very startling, no? Masurprise ta. No? Kung ma-apply ni sa usa ka tao. Okay? So ang nothing pala, it means not anything. Not at all. Of course, it's the opposite of something. So pag nothing of no account, of no value and nothing even means non-existent tingnan mo yung katabi mo sabihin mo wala ka dyan yan ang ibig sabihin ng non-existent so is a nothing person bakit sinabi ni Paul that I am nothing why? because wala siyang kung wala siyang pag-ibig. So this is actually, is also a spiritual nothingness. Okay? Because love is a spiritual thing. Kaya ito ang ibig sabihin ni Paul. No? Sa first three verse, verses, no? basahin nyo na lang. Yung 1 Corinthians 13:1 to 3 It means that all we do, no matter how grand, no matter what our achievements are, if it's Without love, it will be nothing. You see? Talagang ang pag-ibig, siya pala talagang pinaka-importante sa buong mundo, the greatest love of all. So a Christians cannot, by having all this, no, by just giving, you know, magpakamatay na nga siya siyang tao, by just giving all his possessions, produce and increase any spiritual in his heart without love. So, everything is nothing without love. 